Now we just want to start with a different entry. We just started with an entry now from uh, the outside. Now we're trying to do something from the inside. Right? It so it is, of course, possible if we start with a measure that uh, somehow I am not on his outside but on his inside. And so uh, there has to be done something from here too, of course. Because, I, of course, here too I can uh, try to thrust his face or to his open visor. Um, the advantage I have here is that his point is offline and mine is very much online. So um, I want to take advantage of that, for instance. And I, if I am the attacker and I attack forcefully, I can't, yeah, you were leaning back. Yeah, don't do that. Don't lean back. It is deadly. Because uh, if, if you lean back again, you just might pop it over. Or perhaps that was exactly the same, the very same thing I need for my technique now. Because I want to, I want to shoot at him and I grab his wrist here. And if I do that powerfully, I can turn him a little in his elbow and unbalance him there already. So convincing him that going back is a good idea for him, which of course is not, but for me it is, because now I make a decisive step with my right foot behind his back, or in his back, and since I have his wrist here, he is completely locked, and I keep contact with his sword here, and he uses that as a lever here, and now bring him down. So, and then if I did that with a bit more uh, speed and intent, I can I thrust from the inside powerfully, grab the twist, perhaps I can manage to keep contact here with my blade that is advisable because I now have a very firm grip and now lever him here down to the ground. Thrust, grip the wrist. I am the attacker and I am the, the victor in one, in one pass. So, I advance. <laughs> I shatter his stability already. I seize his wrist. If I, if I mess up and lose contact with my sword, I don't care. Next, I move my right foot in the shortest conceivable way, directly forward into his knee. And with the truth of my knee, I can shatter his stability even further. And I have him here, press him down, press up here, use my knee, and down he goes. So, this is important if you step with your right, with your right foot. But you step with your right foot. If I go, don't go here. It's of no use. You have too wide away. If I'm here, I have a much better angle. I just can raise my hand here, and it's effortless. It's virtually effortless. The farther I step outside, the more, yeah, the more power I need in order to lift my arm. And if he's strong, mm. ah, look at that. Clever boy. Exactly. He might exploit that. 